Good day, y'all. You are currently watching Group One's Career Fair presentation. Group One consists of Ramir Barry, Deshae Burrows, and Brianne Ferguson. Our group chose to represent the art or creative industry, and for our questionnaire, we decided to interview Miss Tiffany Barrett, owner of Tiff Gallery, a unique and authentically behaving gift shop. Thank you for taking this time out of your busy schedule to be here today, Miss Barrett. It's no problem. <sighs> okay, so let's start our interview. The first question is, briefly describe your job and what you do and how long you've been a part of the art industry. Okay, what I do is I paint on silk fabric. I use wax and fabric dye to create my um, designs. And then I take those and I put them on face masks, I put them on wine tumblers, I put them on different coasters and stuff, and I sell them to tourists as well as I wholesale to hotels and different stores throughout the Bahamas. Oops. So what are the pros and cons of working in the art industry as an entrepreneur? Um, it's difficult f to get your work out there sometimes. Um, I was fortunate in that I was able to get a booth down at the harbor, so I'm like right front and center. But when you look at trying to get a space downtown Bay Street especially, it's very expensive. Um, unless you get in a group or co-op with people and put together and try and do something like that. Um, I started wholesaling because um, I found that the turnover was quicker when I wholesaled to different hotels and the overhead wasn't as high as far as, far as rent and electricity and all those things. What would you say is the absolute best thing about being a part of the industry? Being able to show my love for my country, really. Uh, most of my paintings I do are of uh, the flora and fauna of the islands of the Bahamas, and I keep my stuff really indigenous. I do turtles and triggerfish and everything that you can find locally. And so my, I'm able to express my love for my country through my artwork, and it's taken all over the world, and it's fabulous. <laughs> Would you rec recommend this industry to graduating students? If so, why? I would, because it's a way for you to express your creativity. And um, it's a way to meet people throughout the world, really. Um, and I think that if you're an expressive person, then this would definitely be something that you, you could look forward to doing. What advice do you have for someone wanting to enter the industry and would, what further education would you recommend? Um, the advice that I would give is advice I would give you in any industry, which is networking. You have to network, you have to introduce yourself to people um, and get your name out there. When I first started, when I first moved here to Nassau and started um, in the art industry, I did every single event that I could charity free um where i donated free artwork and just to, to get basically free advertising got my name out there and then eventually i was able to sell my work and people recognize my name so as far as further education i would do business um i only have a high school education so everything i've done so far has been basically just my drive my hustle my motivation just to keep going but i would it's very important to do i would say a business um course as well as art but if you're trying to push yourself to the next level then you need to have that business um course under your belt with your business how many people are employed well right now it's just me basically mm -hmm. um the covid um pandemic has impacted me greatly. Uh, I was closed for almost two years during the lockdown and literally just opened my store last week again. Wow. So it is really, and what happened was while I was closed, a lot of my stuff got damaged and I had to throw it away and had to try and save to build, to get my raw materials back in. And so it, yeah, it was basically like starting over. So right now it's just me um trying to get and to build my business back up because a lot of the 
my clients who I wholesale my stuff to, a lot of them took a hit in their businesses as well. And so I'm just trying to get them online as well. So it's, it's a growing process again. So it was definitely a big change. Yes, the COVID pandemic is, oh, that I lost, I would say about 60% of my business at wow. least. And so, but things are turning around and I've, I've got people calling me again. So it's very promising. It's very promising. So I have no doubt it'll build back up and quickly. It's just to hang in, <laughs> hang in there. <laughs> What would you like to see implemented or change in the industry? I would like to see more um, art tours. Whereas you can go and like right now, what's popular is say snorkeling trips and you know, people do food tours now. I would like to see an art tour that's done regularly. Right now I think, well, they used to do one once a year called trading, transforming spaces. But if they could do something like that on a regular basis and promote the, the local artists, because it's just not, um, we have a lot of talent here. We have wood carvers, we have shell artisans, we have musicians. And if we could do an art tour and really show our culture, not just the Junkanoo side of it, which and I love Junkanoo, I do. But you know, there's so much more to, to our culture. And if we could do art tours, I think that would really um, promote the local artisans a lot better. Are you part of a union? If so, what are the benefits? Not part of a union. Um, we have the Authentic Bohemian Group and um, Tourism has another group for, for entrepreneurs. And whenever there are grants or shows, uh, they let us know. Um, recently, I was able to take part in the Dubai um, experience. I didn't go, but tourism um, bought my stuff and all my um, giftware and sold it in Dubai. And so that was an opportunity for me to be exposed without having to come up with the money to travel because it would never, if, unless I swam there, I wasn't going to get there. <laughs> and so it was a great opportunity for me. Um, that the government actually implemented that, yeah. Speaking of the government, are you <laughs> satisfied with the government's involvement in the industry? Are any of ever satisfied? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> well, I think, I mean, like I say, I can't really judge them now because COVID okay. has changed the whole scope of everything. And, but I see them, starting to make movements on um, the NASA cruise harbors starting to be built and that's supposed to be ready part of it in November and so you know if they continue then yeah I, I would be happy with it I see that they're trying to do grants I see them trying to do loans small business loans and so that's very helpful and uh, I'm encouraged I'm encouraged well, thank you so much for the interview. It was lovely. It was very incredible. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> now I can exhale. <laughs>